The right to education is guaranteed in Ghana's 1992 constitution in Article 25. Access and quality are equally important and with interventions by successive government, access to education has significantly shot up, yet a conducive environment is still out of reach. GBC News takes you to Asakraka DA School in the Coast South District of the Eastern Region where the pupils have a hard time, especially when it rains and classes must come to an end abruptly. Our reporter B3 Senaju has visited the school and has come through with the report. We go to the Asakuraka DA Primary School at midday. Classes were not in session because they were on break. Soon it was over and the pupils returned to their classrooms. Even though the pupils seemed eager to be in class, studying the basics to equip them for the future, my team and I realized that the school's infrastructure was in a sorry state with portions of the building virtually crumbling. The pillars holding up the school block had cracks. Inadequate or broken chairs and tables were what the school owned. The roofing sheets had holes and almost ripped off. The pupils say this is a difficult situation no matter the weather. Pack your books and do your police at basic one or two because it is less about to rain. Unfortunately, the heavy rains set in and all pupils and teachers took to their heels for cover in other classroom blocks which did not leak. The rest were stranded on the corridor, waiting for the rains to subside. The dilapidated school block is fast becoming a death trap. The assistant headmistress of the school, Madame Beatrice Sampson, mentioned some challenges. It's a dwarf wall, so anyone can just enter the block after school. They destroy our furniture. Some people even defecate in the classrooms. And then because of the structure, we can't keep TLMs and those things because after school they come to pick them up. So we can't keep them here. In the kindergarten class, there is a gutter in the classroom block carrying out waste and other dirty materials from outside. Teachers and students must deal with the stench from this gutter every day. Our washrooms are very bad. When you go to the toilet now, it's not in a good state and the urine out too. So we are still pleading that NGOs and the government and any other person that can help to come to our aid. UNESCO says education is a human right for all throughout life and that access must be matched with quality. This is what Sustainable Development Goal 4 seeks to achieve. The goal is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. But the pupils and teachers at the Asakraka DA Primary School say this goal is way out of reach. Yesterday I visited some schools in Asakaka and you could realize that these are schools that uh, lack the very uh, 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 amenities that... In fact, I, I saw one school where two schools, I mean two schools, uh, let's say uh, Asakaka DA and Asakaka Anglican sit in one classroom. And that is worrying. I mean, we need to provide more so that our kids could do more. And, 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 and it's something that I am committed to. It's something that assembly members are committed to. It's something that the government is committed to. And hopefully, gradually, we will get there and solve all these basic challenges. In our
Even as they try to achieve SDG Goal 4 on target, the pupils, teachers and parents are appealing to government and philanthropists to support the community to renovate the dilapidated classroom block and provide their children with enough furniture to improve on the quality of teaching and learning. Beatrice Senaju, GBC News, Asakwaka.